So for today I'm going to be drawing in my sketchbook and what I wanted to make was some box tanks, cyberpunk tanks, or I like to call them compact tanks. And what that is basically is a box or a rectangle that transforms into a vehicle, specifically a military type vehicle. And these are kind of tank looking, but they also just look like mechanical blobs which I also like I like making mechanical blobs mechanical vehicles that don't make sense and these these don't make sense at all but some of them look good I think maybe three or four of them I like the rest are just kind of ah eh, you know and the the thing that I had the most issue with I would say is the tracks on the side of the tank I mean, I kind of know the perspective and how to do it, but I could have spent a little bit more time, uh, you know, I should have been more patient with it. The issue with this page is that I tried drawing all of these very fast, and it kind of turned out all right, but if I, if I spent more time and drew a little bit slower on these, I definitely could have made them look more like tanks because they don't really look like tanks but I, I wasn't really going for the traditional tank look I was I was I was kind of going for the cyberpunk you know almost a cyber truck Tesla sort of vehicle they may not have turned out exactly how I imagined but I do really enjoy drawing tanks it's one of my favorite things I like drawing mechanical very geometrical shaped stuff and I think what I'll do next time is maybe make these more all-terrain or add maybe a drill or more telescopes actually these what I what I forgot to put on these was the the cannon the guns there's there's really no weaponry on these tanks which is the point of a tank and I kind of forgot that now now that I'm looking at it now that I'm looking at these drawings again they don't have cannons on them so they're just armored vehicles with tracks on them oh well I mean they'd look pretty fancy driving around with I guess if that's street legal but yeah I'll, I guess I'm gonna have to draw more tanks now I'm gonna have to put some cannons on them what I started to draw on the kind of side of this page were some futuristic toys and gadgets. Something that maybe kids in the two or three hundred years from now would be using, like maybe teleportation devices or um, hundred meter time machines that can, you know, you can travel around the area without, you know, so something, something, I don't know. It, it's just an interesting thing that I had to put down in the sketchbook. That's what sketchbooks are for, is putting down ideas so you can store them for later and then move on. Go to the next thing and then look back, take those ideas, put them into the next sketchbook. And so futuristic toys, I think it's an interesting concept. There's a lot of possibilities because what will kids be playing with 300 years from now? What kind of toys, you know? I mean, most kids are on their phones, which is kind of a gadget in itself. But what, what will what will the future look like? That's what I want to get through to myself and other people with these drawings. I want to I want to know what the future is like. <clears throat> but the future is often created. It's not doesn't really exist. So. That's all for today. Just a quick video. I wanted to put these ideas out there. And so, yeah, thanks for watching and have a good night.